Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. So today I'm going to do a video. This is a quickie. This is for, I want to say her name, Ave Maria is what I want to say, but it might be Ava. I'm not sure. She was asking me about um, washes and that kind of stuff uh, where you put on layers and, you know, um, glazes. You know what I'm saying? So let me just show you. I told her I would come on and show her real quick. So this is an oldie. <laughs> you probably, if you've been with me, have seen me do this one. This was from years ago. Um, so I wanted to show you a glaze. So you can see up here that we have yellow. Now, maybe I want to put a little bit of a blue glaze, okay? So I apologize for the filter going in and out. Okay, so I'm going to take a little bit of whatever color you want to use as the glaze. And then I'm going to use Mod Podge. Now, you can buy a glaze. You could definitely can buy a glaze. Um, uh, Plaid has one. Deco Art has one. Golden has one. Liquitex has one. What you want to do is just kind of, see, just that little bit. And we're going to mix it around. And what we're doing is making it transparent. Okay? And maybe you want it even more transparent than that. So I'll take a little bit more glue. And I'm going to show you a few ways to do it. But you see how light that is now? I'm even going to go lighter. I'm going all in. Yeah. Yeah. So you see we're making it almost looks like it's um, a light blue. But when we put it on, it's a very light glaze. So, for instance, if I wanted to glaze over here... To add a little bit of blue, but I still want to see the stuff underneath. And I can even go lighter with the glaze. Um, let me see if you could see. You could see how it has that tinge to it, right? Now, I'm gonna if I put blue on here, it could go green a little bit. No big deal. But you see how that has a glaze to it. Now, let's see. This is a little brighter down here. See, it just... And you can still see everything under it, but you just... Matte that down a little bit with a little bit of a blue glaze. I also like to take a brush with water and I go in and I pull it out like this. Now remember this dries clear because we're using Mod Podge which dries clear. Any glue that you use, you can use your um, Elmer's, uh, what's it called? Glue all as well. Same thing. Okay. So, but when I put this on, look at that, how the, I'm making it almost watercolor. And the more I go down, the lighter it gets. Okay. So then we can go, we could get a little bit of this right here. I know it's hard to see cause of the glare. And then I can glaze over this. Now, glazes are used for a myriad of things. Um, let's see if you can see. See with the water? No, I really watered it down. I can get more. I could pull a little bit more in. And again, I'm going to concentrate over here, but I can make this a glaze. I can still see any prints or stamps or anything I used, but then it kind of tints it a little bit blue. Um, so that's what I love with that. If I were going to go in, let's say I wanted to shade her face a little bit, like to get some shadow, right? I'm going to go down like this. We'll just go up in here. because her hair's down on that way, maybe the light, right? And then I'm not gonna put any more on my brush, but I'm just gonna kind of like blend it in a way. And you can see how it's darker over here compared to over there. And I, I mean, I, I sit and play. It's, I mean, this is, I'm trying to simplify it, but it's, you know, so you can go in and take some of that out if you want. You can 
dab it if it's too dark. Remember you have, you know, it's maybe you don't like it on that side and you want to just wipe it off and just give a little bit of a, so there's so many things. I mean, so many ways to use glaze. It's hard for me to really, you know, but you see how light that is? Look at that on the white. So you might want a layer, right? So, okay, you see that? Let's see if I dry it, if it'll be easier. So you see how it's very light, but that's not what the color is. The color is this. <laughs> so you see how we could really, you could really make it go down to a watercolor. I have videos where I say, if you have acrylic paint and you want to make a watercolor, add that water. Now you don't want to go more than, they say like 40, 50% of uh, whatever color you're using. So if I'm using this much paint right here, I don't want to use more than half of this pile of water or whatever, because it can make the consistency, the integrity of the paint, I guess, is more the word, uh, break down a little bit more. I've never had problems and I, I use water all the time. I use Mod Podge as well, but So glaze is just a beautiful thing. Maybe that just came to my head. Let me show you. You want to do a butterfly. Okay. So you take this, maybe you want it a little thinner or, you know, whatever way you want it. And you go in and you make your wings like that. And you let them dry now you can go over them and you have a a base a shadow for what your wings are gonna be so now you can paint on top you can go in with maybe you want to do dots okay and you see you have that light color underneath, your glaze helped you with that. And then you can do all the colors on top and you will still have this underneath, this beautiful color. I hope this is explaining it. Always ask questions down below. If I didn't quite hit what you needed or you have more questions, always ask, I don't care, I don't mind. Um, but so then, like I said, you can do that. You can do that over here. You can maybe paint some darker blue or green, you know, orange, yellow, whatever you want. And then that just becomes, stays your base. And you're not wasting a lot of paint because you're using one color paint. You're, uh, you know, watering it down or using, I mean, look at this. This is dry. Look, nothing, nothing. And it's a great, great glaze. Oh my God, my camera going in and out. I'm sorry. Uh, but yeah, so that that is essentially a glaze. It's a lot of fun to play with um, You can glaze on top of glaze. Let me see if I have a color sitting here that I can Let's see if I can do it with this green I'm just gonna dip my brush in a little bit And dip it in some water and we're gonna do the same thing here gonna thin it out I'll just keep moving it down till it gets as thin as I the color that I want. So there. Now I can go here and maybe I want to do a god damn that thing. Uh, I'll do this and I'll hold it up so it focuses. So now you, you see, you're doing it, you're getting all the different colors. So you can just keep layering colors. So how I use this in mixed media is 
when I do a background, I like to just take these glazes and just go to town with them, right? Like this. And then I'll go into another color. Maybe go over it. Maybe not. Maybe leave it chunky. Maybe not. And I just go over and then they're transparent. So I, I just like that look when you're layering and layering and layering. Now, let me show you. Like, for instance, I'm working on her. I've been working on her forever. I have a couple of these kind of done already. But you can see I've done the background on here, and it's layer after layer after layer. So um, here's some white, here's some purple, and here's some purple. So I could go over this with some, a little bit of blue. Oh, well, there's nothing left on here. But it would just, it would leave this and this come through but you would have that glaze of the blue on there so there's many different like, there's many different reasons i'm a mixed media artist so that's how i use glaze i just layer and layer and layer and like i said here you know you go in and decide where your shadows are gonna be her eyes cover i always like to do the one side and then i don't even go back in i just kind of Move it around to like thin it out. And you got a nice little little shadow going there. So am I a mess today? Yeah, you betcha I am. But I wanted to come on and just show real quick what um, different things for glazes and what you can do and how it can really, it really can play. Um, you know, if I had like purple, for instance, uh, that would be pretty over here on yellow. Um, you know, for the red, maybe even some purple. So it's just, I don't know, it's just a lot of fun. A lot of fun. A lot of fun just to sit down and scribble and play and, you know, that kind of thing. And like I said, you could see the shadow on her face starting, you know, and then you could take a little bit here. I mean, you can just really have fun. So I hope this helps. Evan Maria, just ask me uh, more questions um, if you have them. I think it's a lot of fun just to sit and play with your stuff. Your Mod Podge and your paints or your whatever you have. Um, I think it's a lot of fun. Uh, also, another thing was I use this. I've talked about this many times. It's almost empty, but I use the Mod Podge Ultra Matte and I use it to seal my pastels or to um, fix them in a sense. If I can't get to my fixative for whatever reason, I always have this sitting here and I'll give it a light spray and then it will dry on it and then I can work on top of my pastels. So that's another way, uh, you know, if you want to do that as well to fix things. So that's it. I hope that's all. All right. I'll see you guys later. Bye.